Hey everyone, welcome back to Stellaris as the Church of Scientology, where we are, yeah, still haven't found any other new neighbors uh, other than the Itstran horde here. But so far, they've uh, they've been peaceful, which is good. And uh, Space Amobas, yeah, I hope that we're gonna be friendly with them as well, please. The Space Amobas, the name has stuck as the pronunciation of the proper Xeno taxonomic denominator is too unwieldy for the average human are solitary animals when left to their own devices all but the youngest specimens are accompanied by quasi independent flagella organisms spawned by the amoeba and programmed through liquid rna laced secretions to do the bidding of the host these flagella are capable of manipulating and even attacking objects in an impressive yet restricted range around the host Periodically System returning to lodge complete. inside the host's amoeba's body for reprogramming. There are potential military applications to be found in the regenerative properties of the amoeba's thick hide or in the flagella's graceful patterns of movement. Um, regenerative whole tissue or flagellating the movement. Have granted us new um, honestly, I never really... Like this, you have to equip. And that means you will get less of the um, you know armor or shields because it occupies the same slots whereas this is just a straight up bonus so i'm gonna go with this one instead but yeah we need a new attack corvette hull points very good we can mm, increase building have the strike craft i like that too uh it's all good but yeah since we're not going to be building any anymore anytime soon i think i'm going to go for the strike craft thing because that's going to help us for our star bases strike craft are pretty potent in the beginning and we can go for new tradition here yeah the fire rate can be increased wait did i go for this oh i did yeah right well in that case let's go for the um overwhelming force here everything must be brought to bear on the enemy if victory is to be assured a swift and decisive attack can paradoxically save lives that would have been needlessly lost in a prolonged engagement so yeah, extra ship yeah fire rate that's gonna help us a bit and then the great game yeah this is gonna what we're probably gonna what we're gonna be picking next for the star bases here the defensive star base construction that we have. complete okay we're still uh lacking some energy credits but we do we are building some generator districts aren't we okay so there's several jobs available clerk jobs that people on earth at least should be System going for complete. and then we have clerk jobs available here no technician jobs actually Okay, they will provide us with um, what found. we need. Okay, perfect. What is this? Survey has, uh, system has been surveyed. Initial scans of the asteroid suggest a dense mass of wrought metal within. Perhaps part of some machinery or other technology. Further scanning required for more detailed data. Um, if only I knew where that was. Okay, over there. Good. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. So yeah, we're spreading relatively long. I know. But, oh, so yeah, where are we going to build a new starbase? We have the capacity to build more. Where would be good? I guess here where we have a potential planet. Here around the black hole. Here? Here? It's actually kind of difficult to uh, decide. Well, I would want one here. So, hmm. Resonance imaging... Suggests internal composition consisting of rare crystals. Yeah, we'll leave it be though and Yeah, during the survey of Bragafa The COS Jolkovsky discovered a previously unknown strategic resource dubbed SRO It is an extremely rare aerosol of exotic particles that appears to have been deposited here through a meteor impact but its true origin is a mystery. If ingested by psionically gifted individuals, this aerosol should act as a very potent and potentially addictive drug that enhances psi abilities. We do not... Okay, yeah. Uh, cool. I mean, yeah, as I said, we're going to go the psi psionic ascension path. So this could be useful for us. And yeah, it's kind of within our system, uh, within our realm. Machinery inside, as suspected, a great mass of metal and hide some manner of machinery. The gathered data clearly shows that its constituent parts contain great quantities of stored energy. But purpose 
but its purpose remains unknown. Okay, proceed carefully. Trojan asteroid. Caution proved well in order. Hidden inside this asteroid was a host of old mining drones programmed to attack on sight. Science officer Ernesto Zalza fortunately detected this early and was able to jam the drone's sensors long enough to disable them. The drone's cores are old indeed, but retain vast amounts of energy for siphoning. Oh, cool. Alright. Yeah. The Trojan drones, and that extends a lot further up there. A tomb world? Wasn't that... Wasn't that tomb world where people... No, it was this world, this toxic world, where we have an ammonia biosphere. Huh, interesting. This can be terraformed, eventually. Interesting. All right, we'll be moving a little bit faster right now as we're waiting. We definitely need to improve System our fleet capacity, complete. though. Okay, you have okay, interesting. Your fleet power is no longer overwhelming, but your technology level is now superior again, which sucks. Okay, and our construction ship is done once Anomaly more. Found. Build this. Our initial scans caught irregular signal reminiscent of our own distress patterns. Okay, the what could that be? Have granted us new, wisdom. new research. Ah, finally the food. Okay, I think we'll go for the extra society research here. That's long overdue. Although, we have the expertise in new worlds. Ah, but there's nothing else. Okay, let's go for this. Perfect. Okay, our influence is doing fine. Okay, you are... Okay, you're now grabbing these systems. But you haven't taken this one yet, surprisingly. I, I, I don't want to take it because... Um, in case of, like, it's not worth that much, and in case of battle, we're gonna lose it immediately. So, it's fine. And we can't, like, we can't defend it. It's just not possible. We have tons of minerals complete. stored up. Interesting. So yeah, where do we go next? I guess we're just gonna continue here. Uh, and then, I mean, I don't know. Lost in space. The signal we intercepted was a distress call from a ship in orbit around Soval 3. The ship is not giving off any heat signatures and seems to be drifting. Okay, do I like ship? Situation log updated. Uh, can you take care of that? Yes, please research. Special mm -hmm. project complete. The crew of the ship has been found dead. What is more disturbing is that the they appear. Have Ooh, a new hold on, world. hold on, hold on. Uh, that they have been killed by some highly advanced brain parasites, which infested them and drove them mad. Thanks to science officer Koharu Van. Watanabe's findings, we're able to protect our own crew from being infected. That's good news. Uh, and you please continue to survey the system. Actually, automate exploration. And then, yeah, so here we are. Rudimentary robots. Our colonists on Jezemi, Jezemi Prime will need to deal with the ancient robots on its surface, who we presume were left behind when whatever fate befell their makers spared them. Many of these antiquated automatons have responded to our presence, making repetitive queries in an alien tongue. We believe they are awaiting input. They do not appear to be sentient, and it is likely they lack higher reasoning functions. Put them to work, gain the robot pops, or scrap them for minerals. Now. Again, I think we should just put them to work. Um, so, we, why would we be wasting assets, right? There's no th That makes no sense. Now, we do... Oh, okay. We suddenly or immediately lack housing. What can these guys do? They're... Right. They're not doing anything at the moment. Fine. Well, we need food. Um, yeah. But we do need this, too. Hmm... Well, well, well. We could go for a temple here. Spiritualist ethics attraction. Uh, that, what's this gonna do? Giving us unity. I kind of want a temple. Would probably be the smartest move. Yeah, let's go for a temple. Mm, okay, let's build a generator district. Let's build a temple let's build 
an agricultural district on this Gaia world. Let's do it like this. Good. And then as for decisions, we can go for the encouragement of planetary growth. Which we should. I uh, probably should have done this on Zala too. Ah, that was a mistake. Alright, fine. That's fine. We'll be moving on. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. So yeah, what's uh Sprawl? We're still fine. But we probably can't expand that much further for a while. Like, we'll probably have to take what we have here. Oh, right, this Amoeba. Are we still talking about those? Are those people... Are they, like, still hostile or what? I don't know. I hope not. Are they usually hostile? I don't know, maybe. Missing Makers. Oh, Scientology scientists have expressed interest in studying the ancient robots on Jazemia Prime and the demise of the civilization that created them. Thus far, researchers have found no definitive proof of what eradicated the robots' makers. A puzzle exer exacerbated by the centuries that have long since turned any biological remains to dust. Inspection of the planet's of the planet has ruled out nuclear annihilation and extensive warfare as extinction events, but still the reasons behind their disappearance eludes us. Researchers really recommend found. launching a more intensive study of the ancient robot's hardware in an attempt to glean further insight. Sure, we'll Situation consider it, and updated. by chance we stumbled upon a faint alien signal during the survey of this planet. The source appears to be a small object in orbit. Huh. We've had this event before, but perhaps different outcome this time. Okay, and then... Missing Makers is available. We need a science ship for that. Um, I, I guess we're going to go with this one. Because it's the closest, right? Actually, once you are done... Construction complete. Are you... What are you doing? You're surveying this. Survey this system. And then... Research this project. Thank you. Okay, we have... Build something? Sure. Okay, we're doing pretty well here. We can't upgrade because we don't have the technology for this. I hope we get it soon, to be honest. System and our construction ship... Complete. Okay, we're going to get tons of, yeah, resources. And this system has been surveyed Cool. Let's go here, research this project, and then I kind of want to figure out what's going on here. I hope that these vessels will no longer be hostile. Okay, ooh. Incoming transmission. The Vengralian Trium. Greetings from the Vengralian Trium, certified caravaneer traders of the Caravansary Caravan Coalition. We teach Xenos how to earn a substantial additional income working from home, but you seem to be doing well for yourselves already we will offer you an exclusive deal <clears throat> excuse me whenever we pass through your territory tempting as it may be you don't have to accept right away you can ask us to contact you again before we depart your space and we will but be aware that incoming calls will be rerouted to the caravansary caravan coalition all right greetings caravanese you can trust the vengrian seal of quality well show us your wares we offer you a Trium brand atmospheric deodorizer. Do your angry worlds smell like fertilizer? Do your is your acuminopolis? Acum, oh, right. More like a yuck, you know? No, no, we don't have any of this. Does your colony stink? We have the solution. Four patented blend of micro microbes and aerosol re reagents will clear the air of any habitable troposphere just sit back relax deploy the strato drones and enjoy a breath of fresh air all for the low low price of four specialist pops we need some help with bookkeeping a one a one-time delivery to a single colony only anti-odor effects are guaranteed to last 80 years or and no longer increases immigration pull and pop growth yeah that does not seem interesting I like that they have like a copyright and all that, all rights reserved. Cool. Funny stuff, but no. They do have... Oh, look at this. They're right here. So all of these like enclaves seem to be together. 
And there's the new Mystic Order. Ah, the humans. Finally, the winds of fortune have brought us to your beautiful, la bountiful lands. We are the new Mystic Order, faithful servants of the goddess Numa, and we have come to offer you her blessed wares. Our fleets travel the divine currents of cosmic energy wherever the winds of fortune take us, bringing new deals every time we enter your lands. For a modest donation, the wonders of the universe could be yours. All transactions and credits. Greetings. You call that a fair deal? You spit in the face of Numa. Oh, but we have customers. Our sincerest apologies for that display. Some do not have the courage to accept good fortune when it falls into their lap. Okay, what do you have? Honored humans, we have a very special offer for you. Numa has seen great potential in your people and would like to welcome some of your kind into her ranks. In return, these priceless crystals could be yours. As always, if you need time to consider. Okay. Um... I don't want to give up my pops. What the hell? No, I'm not interested. <laughs> um, thanks, though, I guess. An abandoned life pod was detected in close orbit. It is covered in scorch marks, presumably from when the pod's mothership exploded. And preliminary, preliminary scans suggest it was built more than 5,000 years ago. The crew managed to open the pod, revealing the withered remains of a reptilian alien clad in a resplendent uniform. Clutched in one of its claws was a small picture of another individual from the same race. Possibly a mate or revered leader. Okay. Why not? Right. Um, we still have four robots. Got nothing to do. Oh, you can't do this? What can you do? Can you not do anything? Apparently you can't work this. Servitude. Soldiers only. Set their rights. Servitude. Living standards. Soldiers only. We can exempt them. We can build military armies. Colonization is forbidden. No population controls. Hmm. Okay. Huh. Wonder what that's... It's gonna happen with them. Do we have? Are we currently System right? We are sending complete. someone on, on their way. Okay. And oh, we know these guys. No, we're not interested. How are you? Wait, what? How are you entering my space again? Oh, they have really cool ships, by the way. Damn, they look. They look awesome. They look really, really cool. A destroyer. A cargo ship. A cruiser. Do you have Corvettes too? Oh, that's so cool. F interesting. One cargo ship, but that's the largest one. Cool, I love it. Um, yeah, so apparently they have the same stuff. We're not interested. And so, yeah, they actually... Oh, so yeah, it's a, it's one group. They travel as one. Do you have different design? No, you have the same. Okay. Oh, and look System at this. Survey a complete. broken world. Didn't even see that one. In this black hole. Okay. Should I be building up this station? Probably, right? It's one of the main entrances. Should be building this up. Or this one. Should be building up one of them. In a black hole. It's very more useful to do it here where we have a planet, potentially. But we do need to colonize in this direction Evading as well. Heretics. Oh, what's going on here? Yota aliens. Oh, that's the cloud the cloud people. Oh I just read ring segment. Do we have a ring world here? That would be amazing. We have encountered some form of alien vessels. We're gonna have to investigate them. Yes, do it quick. Do it quick. But yeah, we're gonna be, um, they're gonna be hostile for sure. I'm not sure with the Amoeba, it could be, they could be friends, but, ooh. We have received a communique from a previously unknown spacefaring empire that called themselves the United Cerulean Empire. They claim to have learned of our existence by listening in on a communication of the not empire we're in contact with. Oh. Oh yeah, that would be the it's drawn. 
Okay, so here we've got turtles. They are a feudal empire, imperial, um, with aristocratic elite. This government is a feudal autocracy where the monarch rules indirectly, granting offices and territories to vassals in exchange for obligations in the form of taxes and military service. I speak on behalf of the United Cerulean Empire, and I have been authorized to bring you greetings, as long as you stay out of our internal affairs and treat our great leader Empress Dorokina with reverence, I see no reason for our diplomatic relations to sour. Chairman Ross Urban greets you, Cerulans. Praise the Divine for this meeting. We share this, the same heritage. Now, they're most definitely better. We're going to greet them. We're going to be friendly here. They are definitely... They seem much better than others we have. We already have mutual rivals. That's good. But they don't like us because we're a criminal syndicate. I understand. Now, okay... This is cool. We might be able to establish our first branch office. That's going to cost 50 influence and 1,000 energy. Wow, that's super expensive. Comet has been cited. The menacing comet has a negative influence. Oh, interesting. Very cool. So we can establish our first branch office. But wait, hold on. So these guys, they're... Authoritarian and militarist. They have closed their borders. So this explains why the Itzran were not able to expand. In fact, they're actually boxed in by our two empires. Look at this. They cannot ex like they can't expand anywhere. Here, they have only one more system to go. And then unless like they have a wormhole here or here, they're screwed. Or rather, we might be screwed because they're gonna have to declare war in order to expand. Interesting. Okay. And your equivalent. Okay. And. So yeah. We can establish this here too. Multiplied due to the level of crime. By 0.5. And what about this one? Hmm, so there's no crime here, really. Hmm, alright. Well, I kind of want to go ahead and establish a branch office, but maybe... I don't know, maybe they're not the right ones? Nah, I guess we have to. We have to. We probably have to establish it on their capital. But I'm not going to be doing this right now. We'll be doing this at the beginning of the next episode for now. That was it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.